Gaming here, back with another video on the Finn and Jake gameplay. Um, I am doing it on one of the easiest maps because they have limited range and they're not as strong as they can be. I simply put the best items that I thought would go on them. Um, but yeah, it just... I tried it on uh, the Beacon map for Impossible... Sorry, four difficulty impoppable lock and loaded on uh, the first map of that adventure. I forgot what the map is called. The lock and loaded adventure. It's like the roundabout one. Um, but yeah, they weren't able to uh, pop the bad. They were close, but they weren't able to. Um, so I'm trying it on this map because it's a little bit of a different map and... There's more loops, so hopefully with enough loops they can destroy the bad, but uh, we'll just get into it. We are in round 39 because I've already shown you early game with these characters. Um, right now they're just kind of demolishing everything. But yeah, welcome everybody to AOG Gaming Channel. Like and subscribe for more content. Um, gonna release a BTD6 video after this, and it'll be specifically on gold border but i have to grind a little bit to beat a few games and then i can get gold border on the stump easy map and complete my first set of um gold slash black border maps in btd6 the first page so yeah stay tuned to the channel for that um yeah i think we're going to be releasing more videos per day so just keep tuned out for that guys um, so as you can see, they're kind of overpowered for just the, the beginning. I'm trying to look something up right here. Okay, well, I think that with Moabs, as you can see, they're doing pretty well, so I don't have to micro a lot, but it is good to micro. Oh, I'm looking for my wallet, guys. Not because I'm going to buy anything on this account, don't worry. Still a account with only buying the premium characters. So that you can use every character in the game and basically free to play from there on out. Um, that BFB wasn't that bad. Wasn't as good as I thought it would be. The scaling is, you know, also a thing in the game. I was trying to look up stats, um, but I guess I'm going to have to go to Ninja TV official page for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that later. We'll do like specific stats for characters and trinkets. But I'm going to need like a full list of them, so sorry if I haven't been showing you guys that. I've been just doing rough stat calculations with you. But yeah, um, I've completely forgot, but matching tunes thing. Let's see how they do against the ZOMG. They should be doing pretty good. I haven't been using any abilities. And my PBI only got, um, Bound by Hearts. The two me upgrades for allies, even though it doesn't really matter. Like, it's just useless for me buying that right now. And uh, Regal Presence for Pierce. 
And then I have Marceline, as you can see, she's all the way in the corner over there. But I only have her uh, base expert upgrade so that she can give extra um, instrument damage, I guess, or more power. I, I don't know exactly how it works, but the instrument becoming more powerful. Because it tells you it becomes more powerful, but it doesn't tell you how. Is that special properties? Is it stats? Is it overall? I have to check. Um, but yeah, because I did use both Jake's for the PB and Marceline video and for the, um, what was it, for the Thought Cannon Wand characters, which I'm also going to do a review on because I did gameplay first because I have shown it before in gameplay and review, so I just want to do like full gameplay and then full review as what I'm doing with all the other characters, um, such as Marceline's, the PB's, and then the Finn's and the Jake's. But yeah, just going into depth anymore. Um, we're going to speed up here because we only have a few rounds left. And these are the longer ones. You may experience a little lag. I'm sorry, guys. I can't fix that. It's just how mobile works. Um, and also, Finn is just attacking insanely fast. He has a lot of great single target damage. But, like, area damage is a little bit lacking. But you can see they can pretty much destroy everything, so. Yeah. We do have this ultra buffed, I guess you could call it, Psychic Ancient Tandem War Elephant. But I'm not going to be using it. It's definitely a cool strategy to use with Finn and Jake. You wouldn't call this trinket synergy, but you'd call it item synergy because allies are the uh, are the item that we're talking about. Though I only refer to them as allies, because I feel like it's kind of rude to refer to them as items. Uh, are we even gonna pop all of this? Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah, so the roundabouts in this game are crazy. So that's specifically the reason why we put them here, so they can have their full glory. And right now they should be boosted by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 Gugu Mama meters, I believe. So 18, or I guess actually 15 plus damage on one character. Which isn't a lot, but it does add up. Especially with the speed as you can see. We haven't used a single ability yet, so that's good. It's showing you guys that this strategy does work for the easier and poppable games, but uh, this is one difficulty, so whew, I wouldn't call it a hard and poppable game at all. Definitely easy and poppable game. Yeah, those DVTs are being destroyed. Just gonna give them attack speed. Actually, let's give them double attack speed and see how well they do against. Oh, wow, yeah, so deletion is all I can say. Decimation. Annihilation. Destruction. What other words you guys want to use? Definitely not better for the harder and poppable games, but... I mean, it is Finn and Jake. They're not supposed to be the strongest characters in the game, as far as I can tell. But they are useful in many ways, and they are good overall around characters. Good overall around characters. I believe that's the right way to say that. <laughs> These DUTs do push though, and same with the Moabs. The regular class Moabs, and not the BFBs or the ZOMGs. See how much time it takes to destroy this once it comes back around. Eh, not that long, but the balloons got way further than they should have, in my opinion. So yeah, here on the last part of this. Oh wow! 
I haven't gotten that achievement before. <laughs> I don't really pay attention to achievement, guys, because there's some that give you good loot, but there's some that just don't matter. I'm kind of interested on how that didn't work when I pressed that ability. They are shredding to BAD, so they do have single target damage down to a T, but it's just the area damage that they kind of lack in. Yeah, holy cow, look at this. Yeah, so I don't pay attention to achievement, guys, because there are only some that give you epic wish orbs, and then the rest are super rare wish orbs. And they're okay, but they take a while. They take just as much grinding <laughs> as completing, like, an entire adventure or, like, a whole series of maps, more specifically. But it's fine. It is whatever. I'm gonna zoom by this. Yeah, so... Mm, it's okay. So, the uh, Siren is from uh, PB, just so you guys know. The Super Rare Trinket. Not Siren's Call, but Trumpet's Call, Hornet's Call. Warning Call. Whatever the Super Rare Trinket is called with the Trumpet. 20% attack speed, it's an activated ability, and it slows down balloons by 20% within range of character. So I'd say it's good. Only reason we're opening this up is to collect items, guys. We're going to collect all common, all uncommon, and all rare items that we can, and then we're going to do series on that. And then we're going to shard every super rare and epic until we get Baker Shard. Because that is the last item we need. And Ninja Kui is killing me with their drop chances. Um, so yeah, that's showcase. Or I, I guess gameplay. For Finn and Jake. Again, watch my other videos to see more in depth about them. Uh, more information if you guys want. But yeah, these are the achievements I have left if you guys are... Wondering. And I have some hidden achievements too, which I haven't completed. I haven't really gone for them. Yeah, so complete 20 adventures. Super rare wish orb there. I didn't even know about hidden achievements until like a month ago. So recently. <laughs> That the, I know that there's one that gives you another super rare wish orb. Forgot what it's called or where it is though. Yeah, we long may he reign. So Martian throne, you have to hold it for really long. And then I don't think I have any hidden achievements yet. So maybe I'll do a series on that. Let me know down in the comments below. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. We haven't really gone into discussion about anything else plus i still have to do uh what's his face what's his name sorry not what's his name uh i have to do btd6 content because we have to keep the content rolling out mostly because you guys are watching but also because i enjoyed the games i want you guys to know and i want to show you like the easiest way to complete the games free to play i feel like it's good I'm giving some good advice, but I'm mostly just going through what I do. So in my series, as I'm going forth, as you guys can tell, I'm starting to give more information. Because I am getting more used to the games again, but I'm also like giving you guys information specifically so that you guys can understand. For Balloons Adventure Time, Tower Defense, and Balloons Tower Defense 6. Like, well, I guess specifically at my level now, but... If you go back to my other videos, you can see different levels of gameplay that I would use. Um, I didn't do very much gameplay in the early game because I was level like 50 something and I'm pretty sure most people are there. So they do gameplay at that level anyway. So I'm just showing them different strategies that I would use. And now I'm doing gameplay because one, I have most trinkets so I can actually give you guys a non-biased opinion. Because it's not that I've seen the videos, but I've actually done strategies and gameplay myself off screen and i've tested many many strategies um but yeah 
This is a very complicated game. It has a lot of strategy to it. So I'm just going to go real quickly through like what you need when you're building a character or a uh, loadout of characters. I guess you'd call it party of characters. So you need to know, first of all, beacon modifiers. Most important thing, what map it is. If it's multi-lane, if it has negative effects, what difficulty it is, and also um, what the difficulty level is and what difficulty you're playing it on. Two very different things. Difficulty level is the amount of skulls, so how hard it is. So that goes up to five. Um, there's only two five maps, which I think is the Broken Heart one and in the Ice Kingdom, and the... Uh, Cursed Mirrors in the Locked and Loaded Adventure in the Haunted Swamp. And everything else is lower than that. Um, I believe so. So those two things, level and the difficulty you're playing at, modifiers. And then your character level is very important because it determines how many trinkets you can put on them. And after that, it's just whatever you want, really. Um, trinket synergy, you can do whatever you want. Um, but yeah. You just kind of choose whichever character and you build around them if you want. If not, you build around multiple characters, but you have to take into account all of their levels. But yeah, that's basically the main like strategies I use in order to build my characters and load them out for a specific map. Or Martian games, because Martian games have modifiers too. For Martian games, you have to look at the Martian game modifiers and the map themselves. So yeah, there's there's that, um, but there are no like actual modifiers. It's all Mar Martian modifiers, which they include some actual modifiers. So that's where it balances out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching AOG Gaming. Like and subscribe for more. I'll have a BTD6 video out later today. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.